Hi grade 4, I'm back. Once again, I am Teacher Jane and in today's video, I am going to discuss to you the points to remember of the last topic in quarter 2 week 8 of your activity sheets. Reading and writing decimal numbers through hundreds. Open your activity sheets on page 61 and let us study the lesson together. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us first study again the decimal place value chart. This will help us determine the place value and the value of a decimal numbers. This will also serve as our guide in reading and writing decimal numbers. The numbers at the left are the whole number and the numbers at the right are the decimal number. At the center is the decimal point that separates the whole number from the decimal number. It is read as end. Now, how do we read the decimal number in the place value chart? Points to remember. In reading decimals, first read the whole number part then the decimal part. Read the decimal point as end. Say the place of value of the last digit after the decimal point. Use zero as a placeholder. Let us read the given decimal numbers in the place of value chart. How do you read the first number? Since we do not have whole number, we don't need to read zero and the decimal point. Instead, we read this as 8 tenths. Do not forget to mention the place of value of the last digit in the decimal number. How about the second number? Again, we don't need to read the zero and the decimal point. Instead, we read this as 78 hundreds. Again, do not forget to mention the place of value of the last digit in the decimal number. Let us have another example. This is a mixed decimal. It is a combination of a whole number and a decimal number. In this case, read first the whole number part. Next, read the decimal point as end. Then, Read the decimal number as a whole number and say the place of value of the last digit in the decimal number. So, it is read as 1 and 70 hundreds. At this time, let us learn how to write decimal numbers in symbols and in words. Decimal numbers are written in symbols and in words in the same way that they are read. Let us have these examples. Write the following decimal numbers in words. How do you write this decimal number in word? Very good. Six tenths. How about this one? Very good, 15 hundreds. How about this number? Very good, 25 and 7 hundreds. Let us move on in writing number words in symbols or in figures. How do you write these number words in symbol? Eight tenths. Very good. Zero point eight. And it is read as eight tenths. Next, what about eighty four hundreds? Very good. Zero point eighty four. And it is read as eighty four hundreds. What about 55 and 6 hundreds? Very good, 
55.06 and it is read as 55 and 6 hundredths. Let us go back to our place of value chart. The given number is 567.45. How do we read this number? Since this number is a combination of a whole number and a decimal number, read first the whole number part. Next, read the decimal point as end. Then, read the decimal number as a whole number and mention the place of value of the last digit. So this number is read as 567 and 45 hundreds. This is the end of our lesson for this week. I hope you enjoy learning with me. Until next time, goodbye!